and the series of learning programming in C. We are discussing some programs on arrays. We have discussed two programs in this video. I'll discuss one more program, and that is you have to read array of ten integer, and then we will count total number of odd numbers and total number of even numbers in that array. And then we'll print, right? So now I guess how to read ten integer. That is fine. You are I guess uh, aware with that thing because we have discussed in previous two videos that thing. Just using a for loop and scan a function. So I'm going to start from the main function directly. First of all, I'll show you here the logic. We will discuss the logic here one by one, step by step. Then I'll show you the output on my laptop. Right. So now, array of ten integers. Suppose any array name you can take. In the previous video, I have taken name what marks. Better to take meaningful name because there we are taking marks of students. So better to take array name marks here. Uh, it's not like that. Like anything we can take because we are going to read only ten integers. So a I am taking a of ten, right? Now we have to count total number of even and odd. Like even, suppose we have entered uh, five even and five odd. So you have to print five even is equal to five elements. Even even elements are five odd elements are five. So there we have to store those numbers. So two variable you have to take. Even and odd variable name you can take any variable name B or C but better meaningful name like even to store even number of data the count of even numbers and odd to store count of odd numbers right we will initial initialize with these variables with zero also why that will I'll discuss here only then we will initialize these so now first of all just read value from zero to Ten, using a for loop and scan a function. I guess you are aware about about this thing. That's it, right? Now till this working of this for loop is what we have. When when the compiler will compile these lines, then first of all, what array of a size is what array of what one two uh, sorry. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Index would be from zero to size minus one. That is nine. And suppose we have entered some values like this: one, two, four, uh, seven, ten, fifteen, sixteen. These values I have entered using this for loop. I hope no need to explain the working of this for loop. Everybody know. We, I have discussed many times this working. And address is suppose hundred. The first base address is what hundred. So in A, what hundred would be stored? And this is what you can see a pointer to this first element of the array. It is known as what internal pointer variable. So I guess address you can all these variables you can calculate. Integer I am taking four bytes. So next address would be one zero four. Now. Have to count number of odd and even. For that, for counting, we will have to access these elements, right? For accessing, take what? One more for loop that would be from zero to same ten and i plus plus. Now here, see, access first element. If it is odd, what we'll do? Odd plus plus means we will increment odd value. If it is even, increment even. This even value, even plus plus. Like how uh, same access second element. If even, then even plus plus. Add one more in even, or if it is odd, add one more in odd. If else, you have to use. Right? Simple logic is there. Now the, uh, the this logic for calculating odd and even is what? If the number is divided by two and the remainder is zero, then Even number, otherwise odd number. So you have to check the remainder. So directly use here if else if. How to access this thing? Just array name and index. Index we are taking what i. That will be from iterate from zero to ten. If it is here, I am taking mo modulo modulo two equal to equal to zero. We are checking remainder. I guess you know the working of mode operator. I have discussed this working of all the operators in my previous videos in C. You can check out. So to check remainder, we will use this modulo operator. 
right if this mode 2 equal to equal to 0 means it is even number so what we can do even is equal to even plus 1 or you can do even plus plus also that is also fine right else the number would be odd so else no need to write down any condition you can do what odd is equal to odd plus 1 or you can write odd plus plus that is same thing rather than this you can write odd plus plus rather than this you can write even plus plus right so now see even plus 1 that is why we have to initialize even with 1 because if you will not initialize this even and odd variable here it is going to take what any garbage value in C and in garbage value we will add 1 it will give you any garbage value you will not give the correct result so that is why before using the, these kind of things such kind of things we have to initialize these things first of all and odd also 0 right now you can simply print what even and odd so this is how you can print even elements are percentage d the variable name i am taking what even and this is for odd so let me show you the working of this thing i have just entered this array now this for loop one variable is i first of all i would be zero and two more variables here even and odd so before using this i we have to declare this also right don't forget this thing so this is what even having zero and this is old variable having zero address of these are something maybe this is 1000 and 2046 and 3000 something like this right so now i0 yes condition true enter here now if a of i a of i a of i is 0 a of i is what 1 so 1 mode 2 1 mode 2 if you divide 1 by 2 remainder would be 1 only like this we divide 1 this 2 then here would be 0 because we cannot divide and remainder would be 1 only so obviously we are taking the remainder right so that is 1 so 1 equal to 0 no condition is not true so we will not enter here we will go what in else one else block in else we have odd plus 1 odd is a 0 0 plus 1 is 1 and that would be assigned to this odd now odd value becomes 1 and obviously this one is what odd number right now i plus plus now i becomes 1 condition true yes again enter here a of 1 now now a of 1 a of 1 is 2 how to access using that formula access first of all calculate the address and then we are going to access now 2 2 mode 2 if you will divide 2 by 2 then remainder would be 0 condition true yes now even plus 1 so now even becomes 1 right now again i plus plus i becomes 2 this one we will be able to access this one 4 4 mode 2 yes it is also 0 so again even plus 1 even was 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 now 2 would be assigned to this even right i plus plus i becomes 3 now condition again true yes enter here a of 3 a of 3 is 7 7 mode 2 is at 0 no it would be 1 so now not in if block we will go to else block and odd plus 1 odd is 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 and that would be assigned to this one right now i is 4 i guess now you can uh, no need to explain the working more now till this thing we have got two even number and two odd number yeah that is fine two even and two odd and once you will go here i is equal to 10 then we are going to exit till then you will go you will get how many odd and even numbers right here after that condition not true once i becomes 10 and exit from this for loop and print even elements we, will go, we are going to fetch from this variable and odd elements just print odd and we are going to fetch from this one so it, it is going to print how many odd numbers and how many even elements are there second way is here rather than using these two for loops you can use only one for loop 
that is another way right after this scanf rather than writing this for loop i am commenting this out right this is what comment right directly after this scanf directly write if block if else and that's it now in that case what will happen see working of this one first of all int i i would be first of all zero condition true yes enter here scanf means we are going to take input address of a of i address of a of 0 means this one 100 and we are going to store value here suppose i have entered 1 right so i have stored 1 here right now rather than taking next variable what after scanf in this for loop we have what if block so directly access the first element whatever you have entered a of i i is 0 so a of 0 a of 0 is 1 if 1 mode 2 equal to equal to 0 not condition is not true we are not we are going to enter into else block now code becomes 1 at starting both even and odd are 0 so now code becomes 1 0 plus 1 1 and 1 would be incremented here now i plus plus i becomes 1 condition true yes enter here again read input from the user address of a of 1 here the value would be stored like 2 and after storing this value just check it out if it is even or odd in the previous case we have taken all the 10 elements first and then we are going to check but this also uh, this case is also fine one you can take and at the same time you can check if it is even do even plus 1 if it is odd do odd plus 1 so better to use one for right so now let me show you the output on my screen now so let me create one more files i am taking name count uh suppose uh, what even odd dot c right same include will include header file right and then main function and here any array we will take and of 10 integer right and we one variable that is i and yeah obviously even and odd we have to take one even variable right and one odd we are going to store the count here right equal to 0 that should be here comma okay two variables we have taken now we are going to print first of all what enter array elements Okay, and how to enter using for loop and scanf? I less than ten and I plus plus scanf. Okay, percentage D format specifier should be percentage D, and what address of name of array is A of I name is A, right? And in one for loop only we are going to calculate. So after entering the number here only just after entering the one number we will uh, test it is even or odd so uh, i'm going to use one for loop only if this number a of i whatever you have entered equal to equal to 0 uh, sorry <laughs> number mode 2 equal to equal to 0 so it is what even number so we will do even plus plus or you can say even equal to or even plus 1 else obviously it should be odd number so we'll do what uh odd plus plus and i guess that's it for this for loop and after the for loop we will print total even number r how many using percentage d and the variable is even i'm going to store what in even the total number of even numbers and for odd slash n and uh, total number of or you can say total odd number
R percentage D and just print out semicolon. I hope it will work. Let me save it and just run it. So, it is asking enter array elements 2, 4, I am entering all the even number like 6, 8, 10, 4, 6, 8, 2 and 10. See total even number, uh, the uh, odd number are 0. Okay. Let me just run this again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 56. So, even number 5 and odd also 5. So, I guess 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yeah, 5 even and 5 odd. So, I hope you got it how to print even and odd number. So, in the next video we will see one more program like we will enter two arrays and then we will uh, store some of those two arrays, al arrays elements by elements in third array. I hope you are getting my point. If not, then it's okay. We are going to discuss this thing in next video. Right? Or if you want me to make any other program specifically on arrays, you can tell me in the comment box. So, now I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.